Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi guys, and welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, today's video, you know what happened to Nancy Culp as far as like uh, going into politics and uh, such. Uh, but there are probably some things that you didn't know what happened to Nancy Culp. That's why I wanted to do this video. So this is what happened to Nancy Culp after the Beverly Hillbillies. Beverly Hillbillies provided endless entertainment as, as Jed Clampett moves his family out to lavish, uh, a lavish life in California after he had striking oil. As much as we loved watching Jethro and Ellie Mae and Granny, the classic series would have been the same without uh, Nancy Culp's Miss Jane Hathaway. She is a loyal secretary of the Clampett's next-door neighbor, Mr. Drysdale, regularly helping him get out of trouble while swooning over Jethro throughout the nine seasons the show ran on CBS one of the most memorable character actresses of her time it was perfect addition to the cast to add some extra comedy um, Nancy Jane Culp was born in Harrisburg Pennsylvania but spent a chunk of her childhood living in Florida after studying journalism at uh, Florida State University she obtained her master's degree from the University of Miami she worked as a writer for Miami Beach Tropics newspaper but entered the women's branch of the United States Naval Reserve during the World War II served for two years before being honorably discharged. After marrying Charles Malcolm Dacus, her husband of 10 years, uh, she relocated to Hollywood and found a job working in the publicity department at uh, MGM. Soon after uh, starting her new job, director George uh, Cooker uh, convinced Culp that she would really be a great actress, and she decided to give it a shot. After making her film debut in The Model and The Marriage Broker, she appeared in a slew of films including Shane, Sabrina, Stars Born, Forever, Darling, uh, The Three Faces of Eve, Parent Trap, Who's Minding the Store, uh, The Aristocrats, The Night of the Grizzly, Steel Town, Strange Bedfellows, and quite a few more. But she was also sought out uh, after a uh, TV actress. Uh, she was on the Bob Cummings show, I Love Lucy, Maverick, and so on, and even appeared on Broadway. But, she will always be best known for playing Miss Jane on the classic TV series, The Beverly Hillbillies, which earned her an Emmy Award nomination. She even played a memorable role in a crossover episode on the sister sitcom Petticoat Junction. Despite her strong on-screen chemistry with the entire cast, there were reports that there was tension between the scenes, behind the scenes, with her co-star Buddy Ebsen. As a passionate liberal, she fought hard to, at times to deal with Ebsen, who was a die-hard Republican. Even years later, when she decided to run for the House of Representatives, Ebsen publicly supported her opponent, calling her too liberal and ultimately causing her to lose the campaign, she said. Though Culp later claimed that the two had made up and were friends year later, years later. By the 80s, she had largely retired from acting outside of a few television appearances, spent most time teaching acting, and was even an artist in residence at the Pennsylvania Liberal Arts School, Juanita College. Juanita College, I'm sorry. Uh, she ended up retiring in Palm Springs before passing away from cancer in 91. But she will always be our Miss Jane, living on endless reruns in Beverly Hillbillies. She also was on, uh, I believe it was called at the time, the Sanford Arms. Uh, uh, it's been off of Sanford and Son. And uh, she played, uh, uh, the, 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 I can't remember his name right now, Hoppy, Hoppy's mom. The policeman's mom on there. I thought really good choice because they were a lot alike, the characters. And she was just a gem, a true gem. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. Please subscribe. Have a great day. God bless you. I'll be praying for you.